I do. I do a little bit, just because it's really obvious when I gain any weight. Um, people often talk about switching to cigarettes to lose weight, and I guess the same is true. You stay on cigarettes so you don't gain weight. We've been looking at the effects of cigarette smoking on appetite in mice. We've examined the effects of one month cigarette smoke exposure in mice on their brain appetite pathways. Because we know that smoking inhibits appetite, a lot of people use it for that reason, but it's a little bit unclear how smoking does that. What our study shows is that one of the chemicals that stimulates feeding in the brain called neuropeptide Y was specifically reduced in animals exposed to smoke. Maybe turn a page and go to another page. That's it. Yeah. And in fact, it all. So they. Yeah. Beginning and that's again. different to that. Yeah. NPYs are a very potent appetite stimulant. So very small quantities of it injected into the brain cause animals to eat, even when they're fully satiated. Uh, we know that this chemical also is regulated over the daily rhythm. So when you a hungry NPY that coincides with an NPY surge. So this is one of the multitude of chemicals in fact in our brain that regulates feeding but it's one of the most powerful. What we found was that cigarette smoke tended to preserve your ability to burn energy and that may be another reason why a smoking is tending to make people burn more energy and possibly maintain a, a lighter body weight. When I um, have given up, I have put on weight. Um, Most people do put on weight and I guess a lot of females especially see that as a negative reason for giving up smoking. It's a common thing that people quit smoking and then they don't change anything else in their lifestyle so they just don't replace the cigarettes with anything except food. There's a quite a link between the habits that people have when they smoke and the same for those that people for people who emotionally overeat. So once they all understand what those triggers are, they find a way of overcoming them. There are a lot of self-exempting beliefs that smokers have because it is after all very addictive, uh, but it's also very lethal to continue smoking. Uh, and so to, to sort of put weight gain um, as a concern for a smoker at the front of the queue uh, is really something they need to try and turn that around and say, look, the best decision I can make for my health is to quit. Um, I shouldn't be fearful of weight gain uh, because that can be addressed. And we know that from other studies that in the longer term, the weight doesn't stay on. And there's many companies trying to uh, develop drugs to help people curb obesity because of its dramatic um, and increasing uh, health problems. If we could find a drug that would prevent that increase in NPY, for instance, when people do stop smoking, maybe you could have a short-term strategy to help people through that first few weeks. Take these, you might want to take these as well. When is this? I told you it was easy. And there was another sign going off, 